what is the equilibrium constant expression for the following reaction at 25 degrees Celsius? Um, so copper 2 plus. So this is a redox reaction. Uh, so what we have shown here, to split it into the two half reactions, is copper 2 plus, plus two electrons, goes to copper solid. So this would be the, uh, the cathode reaction, or the reduction. So this is the cathode. or the reduction. Um, we know because it's consuming electrons, right? So electrons are on the reactant side. And we have uh, two silver going to, um, that's not right, but two silver plus, plus two electrons. So this is the anode side. Um, or the site of oxidation. And we know that because it's producing electrons. So the silver is being oxidized, producing electrons, so this would be the anode side. Okay, so uh, given these two uh, half cell reactions, we can look up the uh, the relevant statistics, so the uh, reduction potentials for these, and compute our E naught cell, which is equal to um, our reduction potential um, so our standard reduction potential for the cathode minus the uh, standard reduction potential for the anode. Okay. Um, so if we look these up, we would get uh, 0 0.34 volts for this guy and negative 0 0.80 volts for this guy. Um, it's handy to remember that this is the value you would get for one silver, but we don't do anything to it for two. So the, the standard reduction potential stays regardless of our stoi stoichiometric coefficients. Um, that'll be taken care of later. So our enot cell is then 0 0.34 volts minus a uh, minus 0 0.8. Zero volts. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, that would be plus point eight <laughs> zero, and so that should be plus, um, which makes this zero point four six volts. Okay. So that's our cell potential. And uh, this is all already our first clue that this reaction um, is in the wrong order. So um, if our E naught cell was positive, then um, the reaction would be spontaneous, it would flow. But because it's negative, it's actually going to flow in the opposite direction. But that's okay, we're going to compute the K regardless. So we can calculate our K from the Nernst equation, which is E naught cell is equal to RT over NF on K. So um, in this case, um, 
So RT and F are all constants, so R is our gas constant, which is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Um, F is Faraday's constant, which is 96,458 uh, coulombs per mole. Um, our T is our temperature, which is uh, 25 degrees Celsius, given in the question, which, which is equal to 298.15 Kelvin. And then N is the number of moles of electrons transferred. So here is where I mentioned we don't do anything with our standard potentials and it'll be taken care of later, this is the later. So we can see here that uh, two electrons are transferred, so N is two. Okay, so um, RT over F is equal to 0 0.0257 volts, uh, so that's just putting these values through our calculator and doing appropriate cancellations of our units. Um, so we can see that the moles will cancel, leaving us with uh, joules per coulomb, which is a volt. And so our E naught cell, our E naught cell, which we computed above as negative 0.46 volts is equal to 0.0257 volts over 2 times ln k. With some rearrangement, we find that our ln k is uh, 2 times negative 0 0.46 volts over 0 0.0257 volts. So the volts cancel, which is good because we want this to be unitless. And so this is negative 35.80. Or our K is 2.83 times 10 to the minus 16. So again, our K is showing us that the reaction doesn't flow this way. Um, so that's, that makes sense. Um, because our K is much, much less than one, that means it favors the reactant side. Um, so now we can check to the solution here. Um, so the E naught for silver here is funny at negative 0.4, but then we can see in the in the calculation of the cell potential it's been fixed, so that's okay, um, giving us our E naught cell of negative 0.46 volts. Um, so there's two electrons, so N is two, okay, and then our K is going to be. So we can solve for our K, and they got 2.84, so pretty much the same, just a little bit of rounding differences. Um, so it's okay. Uh, just a small error on your oxidation potential. Um, okay, so that looks good.